Other news now, and arrests have been made connected to a Rolex robbery in a peninsula city. Yeah, police investigators tell Crown Forest Hazik Medyun, license plate reader technology, played a key role in this case. So this is just um, a picture of what we saw when we did a search for the white Chevy Tahoe. And this, so this is what you get. This is what the cameras will do. I mean, they're super clear. Foster City's license plate reader camera technology led police investigators to the vehicle allegedly used in Wednesday's Rolex watch strong armed robbery of an 85 year old man. I mean, this was a, a, an elderly gentleman that was literally attacked. Foster City Police Chief Tracy Avalar says the three suspects followed the victim home from Costco. He was initially confronted there. They tried to do some sort of jewelry ruse where they put on fake jewelry and take off real jewelry. Um, he didn't allow that to happen and went into Costco. And when he came back out, he, they followed him home. Two people jumped out of a white Chevy Tahoe. One person held him while the other person literally ripped his Rolex watch off his wrist. While the suspects were making their escape, one of Foster City's 20 flock technology license plate readers recorded the alleged vehicle used in the crime. That plate was then entered into a nationwide flock safety hot list. 24 hours later, that same license plate reader technology spotted the vehicle in Galt, California. Officers there made the stop and arrested three suspects. So the three people that were arrested were Alexandra Georgie, 18 years old, no address, Cal McLescu, 22 years old, out of Spring Hill, Florida, and Robert McLescu, 30 years old, out of Sacramento. Chief Tracy Avalar says since the license plate readers were installed in November 2021, the cameras have played a key role in solving over 25 crimes, and she says she believes that this case would still be open without the technology. 100% this case goes unsolved unless they do it again somewhere and we can connect them. In Foster City, Hazik Madyun, Cron 4 News.